people. Let's let's go. Let's start the recording. Infamous is going to talk a lot of shit about this. He's going to talk a, a lot of shit right now because he's in the chat. We're live on twitch.tv slash SoCal Honey Badger. I haven't done one of these guides in a while. I'll turn the music up a little bit, right? I haven't done one of these guides in a while. This would be one of them black background guides that gets me like a thousand fucking views and everybody's all excited. This is the practice regimen I use and this is the practice regimen I recommend you use and I'm going to explain what and why and how. All right? And this is simple shit. We got Luke Kang up in here because he's like wearing my team colors, right? It's branding, pal. Branding. Anyways, anyways, this is a practice routine that takes like fucking 10 minutes, dude. It, it literally, I don't want you to spend more than 10 minutes on this, okay? You are going to have to do some pre-prep, right? But that's not even a big deal. You can add and subtract to this routine as you go along, but this is going to get you into your core key things. First thing at the start of practice mode, you want to go to uh, practice options. You go to reset distance full screen. All right, this is so that way you can practice movement, right? And this is the movement regimen I want you to work with. Forward, forward, punch, forward, forward, block, forward, forward, punch, forward, forward, block, and then go back, right? Back, back, punch, back, back, block, back, back, punch, back, back, block, back, back, punch, right? And then now we're forward. Back, 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 right? Boom, boom, right? Like that sort of thing. Boom, boom, boom. Just doing this. You can make it as sloppy as you want, right? Make it as sloppy as you want, right? Just you want to get that. Eventually, and if you really, if you're really a stickler, keep your inputs on, right? And you want to look at it and make sure your inputs are clean. But what this is going to do is it's going to get your muscle memory down for movement. When you are moving in a fighting game, you need to move with a fucking purpose. Stop moving just dumb, right? We just did a set and dude is doing this shit, right? You do this shit if like specifically like yo man this is how far my poke is so i want to do that right like none of this shit is dumb tom brady even said this is not footsies right you're stupid if you that, that's not footsies don't do that you need to move with a purpose moving with a purpose means you either need to move into a position to defend or move into a position to attack so forward forward attack forward forward block forward forward attack forward forward block being able to alternate between those as you practice this and get better right you're going to be able to do forward forward block forward forward block forward forward attack right you can sit there and wave dash really really quickly and easily and also sneak in an attack because you already have the muscle memory for your movement you want to get this down to where you don't have to think about moving in this manner right so when i think about moving i'm not thinking about like oh he's gonna press a button i need to be over there right i'm thinking he needs he's gonna press a button i need to be over there back back down block down down block down right i mean i'm hitting back back block back back fucking back three or whatever my whiff punishes right to give me a couple of wave dashes to gain space and then go for the whiff dash, whiff punish. And all of that is one thought. My hands are just going back, back, block, back, back, three. Every time I want to move back and I think I'm going for a whiff punish. Or whatever your whiff punish is. Fucking back one or whatever. I don't fucking know what character you play, nor do I fucking care. This is my guide. You pay attention, all right? Anyways, you want to get your movement down to where you don't think about it and you can execute these things without thinking about it because fighting games are an endurance test, man. Mental energy, brain power, that shit wears you out. You will be exhausted sitting there thinking about five moves at once. You need to delegate a lot of shit to your hands to where you can think of other shit and your hands will take over that's what practice mode and drill is for is so that way my practice my mind is working and my hands are taking over so this is a quick thing you do this about two or three times when you go into practice mode right blah 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 blah, blah, blah. this is just to warm up your hands to get into the fucking thought of movement and again you don't need to fucking make sure right you don't need to make sure and then you can practice some wave dashing here right if you want to fucking do that shit right if you want to. Anyways, you do that two or three times until you've built comfortable about that, right? Two or three times, and then that's it. Okay, this is not like an hour thing. Okay, two or three times, that's it. Stop. That's it for the movement. Next thing you're going to do, right, you go back to practice op uh, options, go back to default, boom, and then you can practice your mid-screen combo, and then set it over here to practice options, and then you can go to reset position right practice your corner combo you could do that on both sides it depends on how sweaty you want to get with that but basically have a mid-screen combo have a fucking corner combo do it off all of your starters and then that's it right so like if we're sitting here and i'm saying do it off all of your starters i mean like your basic shit man this is just to get your fingers ready right so like there boom all right that's off of the forward four easy enough all right let's do this okay that one's off the one two three right oh one two three Bicycle kick. All right, there we go. Good stuff. Good enough for me. All right. Okay. Boom, boom. 
Whatever combo. I mean, Liu Kang's got simple shit, you know? Right? Like, that shit, or what is it? This shit. Like, that shit. Basic shit. Basic ass shit. You do your mid-screen combo, you do your corner combo. That you do about two or three times each combo, right? Just off of your different starters. Um, usually I'll do a grounded starter, and then I'll add in a jump in and work on that. Right, simple, and again, I picked Liu Kang because his combos are simple and easy, but I mean, you get the idea. You want to do it off of your starters, and you want to practice a jump in, so that way you can get the muscle memory of the jump in, and then dialing a string in the air, because we all know that this shit is weird, right? Doing this shit, it just feels fucking weird pressing buttons while you're in the sky, all right? You got to press the buttons while you're in the sky. You got to do the whole string. It's weird. Timing is awkward. Practice that shit. Add it. Do it two or three times. That's it, man. Okay? Wave dash over two or three times. Mid-scream combos two or three times. Corner combo two or three times. After that, then we go for the fancy shit, and we set up the flawless block, right? So we'll set record, right? Record custom get up reversal. Bam, we're going to set Sub-Zero to do that. Okay, so then we go back to AI options and what I did there, right? So we hit record custom get up reversal. Okay, we went here, we pressed punch with sub zero two, standing two, which is like generally one of your faster buttons. Crouch block, okay, and then the touchpad to save that recording of what he does there. Okay, so this way you go to AI options, right? Custom get up reversal on record. You record the move, you hit the touch button, you want to hit it as fast as possible because we just want him to try and punish us, all right? Even if you're a beginner, do this shit. Just add this to your uh, repertoire, right? So that way you know what the fuck, all right? So then we're going to go to block mode. Hold on. Practice mode, AI options, go to block mode, go to all, go to reversal mode, go to on, go to reversal attack, custom reversal. There we go. Just custom reversal. Now he's going to block everything and try to punish with that. And this is how you practice your flawless block, okay? So you do that, boom, bam, boom. I don't know his fucking flawless block. I don't fucking play Liu Kang like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what is it? What is it? Like this, All right? Right, whatever, whatever. I think it's this, right? And then, yeah, it's like this, and then forward four, something like that. But you want to do that off of any string. You practice this. Off of, this is the most important part. Go to your combo attacks, and any string that ends where it says block. Hold on, get out of the way, chat. Chat, out of the way. Move, okay. Anywhere where you see block advantage minus around minus four or five. If you're minus six, Mm, you still practice those, but any string that ends in minus six, you do that string. So what is back one, two, four, right? Oh, hold on, like this, right? Boom, boom, and then you can practice it, right? Oh, and then I suck, right? Anyways, you practice that. You want to do that for all the strings that are minus. This is why the movement we only do once or twice, okay? The combos, once or twice mid-screen, once or twice corner. If you fuck it up, who fucking cares, right? This is not, this is not important. These, the flawless block ones, you want to do that for the strings that you use the most. Not every string, but the strings you use the most. You know what moves you like to do, okay? I'm not going to sit here and tell you what's the best moves, right? You know. You're like, dude, I'm Liu Kang. I like the fucking forward four. This move I use a lot. You know what? I use this a lot. Let me see. Can I do that? Right? It didn't say punish. Yeah, I could false block this. All right. I like that move. There we go. Right? Oh, yeah. I like this move. Can I do it? Oh, yeah. That one, we would have to whiff the first two hits, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh, did it say punish? Oh, no. Hold up. Yeah, you could flawless block that, right? So you just practice it on all your strings. Uh, just do it once or twice, but for all the strings you use regularly. All the strings you normally use, once or twice, attempt it. I usually, when you're first starting out, just kind of stay at it until you can do it once or twice, right? Not even once or twice in a row, just once or twice. And practice the combo that follows it, right? So I don't know what Liu Kang's is, right? You, you do forward four or fucking two one. I don't know, whatever it is. After the up to after the launch, you should have a combo ready for that. Anything, even an uppercut, right? If you're that bad that you don't have a, a combo other than like that, like, just practice the uppercut. Practice the simple shit. Who fucking cares? What you need to do is this needs to be 10 minutes, okay? This whole routine, at most, all this shit, 10 minutes. You do as much as you can to fit within 10 minutes. So you spend about, give or take, three minutes and, you know, 15 seconds on each activity. Three minutes, right? Three minutes walking, 
three minutes corners or combos, right? And what I'm saying, combos, three minutes corner, three minutes mid screen, and then three minutes on your flawless block. Ten minutes, dude. If you fuck it up, whatever. Move on to the next thing, right? And then go play. Whatever you were going to do. Towers of time, doesn't matter, okay? You're trying to go and unlock a skin in combat league. You're going to play with your friends, right? It doesn't matter what you were going to do, but you need to. In order to progress, you need to budget your time, right? But you need to fit practice mode in there. But you also need to understand that, like, practice never ends, right? So as you're building your muscle memory with these practice mode exercises, remember that you're going to actually be doing this shit in the match, too. So, like, during the match, you're going to do the same fucking combos that you practice. You're going to do the same flawless block setups that you practice. You're going to be moving, right? So the muscle memory isn't going to stop building. So that's why you only want to spend about 10 minutes on this. And it's 10 minutes because it's structured. It's focused. You can put this stuff together and make it really, really easy and simple. And then you're warmed up and then you can go fuck around, right? And this is perfect for people that only have, like, 10 minutes you know, or one hour, right? You're a fucking dad. And you're like, the babies are crying. But, like, you know, if I, if I give them some whiskey, they'll shut up for an hour. I can play Mortal Kombat, right? But you got to warm it up for 10 minutes. And those of you that are like, oh, man, I don't want to practice for 100 hours. Nobody fucking practices for 100 hours. The people that practice for 100 hours usually only practice, right? Those guys that are like combo gods on YouTube, they're hardly ever online fighting you in ranked mode because all they do is combos. That's what they love. So you don't have to do that. And then the pros, like, they get paid to fucking do that shit. But you're not going to bump into them in combat league every day. And, like, you're not going to train with them and play with them unless you train with them and play with them and then you already fucking know right nobody fucking practices like that but if you structure your practice that 10 minutes every time you play turns into like if you played twice this week right you just put 20 minutes into practice mode right and then i just i even recommend like hey if you're playing with a different character maybe do this in practice mode real quick when you swap characters right so i'm playing with my Liu kang and it's like you know what man baraka's co fucking cool dude i like baraka Right. Let me go and run through that drill with Baraka. Just some simple shit. You can build on it as you if you don't know the optimal gutted forward four fucking four two one into fucking amplify gutted again or whatever the fuck it is. Right. If you can't do the optimal combo, just come up with some simple. Look, dude, all I did was fucking four four and the fucking flying kick. Right. I just did that shit couple of times. Right. And then you get if I was with my main, obviously, I'd be doing bigger combos. But for a new character, just do a fucking simple combo. Just do that every time you play. And then, sure enough, before you know it, by hook or by crook, you'll actually start to be terrible at this game. And being terrible is the first part in your journey to getting good. But you're not going to be able like, to fucking get good if you can't move properly because I'm just going to blow you up for moving like a beginner, right? You're not going to get good if you don't have at least some damage you can do to me to make me scared that of you touching me because if I'm not scared of you touching me, I don't give a well, fuck, dude. I'm going to uppercut your ass. I don't fucking care, right? You got to at least have some flawless blocks to like get me scared to try to touch you, right? And not only do you need me to be scared if you hit me, but you also have to make me scared to try to press buttons against you you know and then when i stop pressing buttons you can do grabs and dumb shit right those three things are things you need to get good these three things will help you get there very very quickly this is not like an all-inclusive thing but this is what i do to practice and this is what i've tried trained people to do to practice and i feel like it's a very efficient look at that we already got another subscriber it's a very efficient usage of your time considering the skills and things you would need to progress in this game so if you like that shit you could come hang out with me on twitch.tv slash socal honey badger i got a fucking league of uh fucking beginner ass players there's some tryhards in there but like it's mostly an amateur league where we sit there and we smoke weed and we make fun of each other and some of us actually get kind of good at mortal Kombat and we make a little bit of money all right and if you're watching on youtube afterwards make sure you like comment and subscribe so that way i could get some money and then tweet it out to your mama the shit that that it is right the, the shit and then i can get money from your mama as well and that's what they call clout oh, i'm not trying to do tiktok to get that shit i gotta make people like me on youtube